Well, I know there's still some green on the radar right now, and I promised it was clearing out, and it is, it is, I promise. Right now, we got some high pressure building over southeast Idaho. That's going to continue to build through tomorrow. Doesn't mean no moisture tomorrow. Parts of the central mountains and the border along Montana and Idaho might see some scattered showers tomorrow. But for the most part, pretty dry for our Sunday. Flood warning still in effect. You got the Bear River down here. You got the Salt River in western Wyoming there near Etna. Areas along the Port Nuff, that Pocatello Topaz still flooding. And then an area around Rexburg, that'd be the Fork Henry River there, that's also under threat. We got a secondary flood warning for the area around Bear River. Places just south of Montpelier, small towns sitting in the low areas like Paris, Idaho. You gotta be careful, some areas are already flooding and they'll be continue to flood until 4 p.m. Monday, that's until, that's when the warning is over. Can't forget about the flood advisories there, still in Franklin and Oneida counties. Now, tonight, low temperatures are gonna be pretty warm, 40s, 50s, a low of 53 in American Falls, 50 in Blackfoot, 55 in Pocatello, Malad, 52. Very clear skies, just, just some of that smoke, just some haze tonight from those fires up in Canada. Looking at sunny and hazy tomorrow for the Southeast Highlands, lava, low of 76 degrees, 81 degrees in Downey and Preston, a high of 80 degrees. In the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming, haze and thunderstorms tomorrow in the afternoon. Jackson will hit a high of 72, Afton 70. In the Central Mountains, haze and a chance of thunderstorms, as I mentioned, in the afternoon. Could see some scattered rain showers. Salmon, a high of 85, 76 in Lador, and Stanley, 78 degrees. In the Snake River Plains, sunny and hazy tomorrow. Pocatello, a high of 86 degrees. Idaho Falls, 84 degrees. Let's take a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. You got some sun tomorrow and then lots and lots of rain and storms for the rest of your week there. Maybe a break on Saturday in Pocatello, highs in the 80s for most of your week. Idaho Falls, you got some rain Monday, maybe a break Tuesday, and then more storms for the second half of the week there, highs in the 70s. In the Teton area, you got rain all week long. Things may be a little heavier Wednesday and Thursday, but chances of rain and thunderstorms all week long, mostly in the afternoons. In Rexburg, you're gonna see a similar thing, some rain for the Monday, and then maybe some more rain the second half of the week there, definitely some Wednesday, Thursday, highs in the 70s. In the Central Mountains, things, you get a break Tuesday, but rain all week long, as well as a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon, and highs in the mid 70s. 